Since the pandemic began, 34 new patients are admitted into the ICU and 29 new deaths are being reported. The total now stands at 5,984. Once again, ODH officials say they are waiting on thousands of test results. Several Ohio counties have stay-at-home advisories in effect as we speak, urging residents to only leave their homes for essential trips. They're also advised not to host guests, including for Thanksgiving. Mm. Franklin, Cuyahoga, Hamilton, Montgomery, Summit, and Medina counties are some of the areas with stay-at-home advisories in place. Each is said to last until mid-December, but local leaders say they can be extended if necessary. During the past few months, several restaurants in Cleveland closed their doors to customers due to the coronavirus pandemic. This week, a nationally known chef and restaurant owner made the same difficult decision. City staple Lola Bistro, the fine dining restaurant owned by celebrity chef Michael Simon, is closing permanently. This is according to the publication Cleveland Scene. Reportedly, three of Lola Bistro's employees recently tested positive for COVID-19. Simon is quoted as saying, before this latest surgery, the restaurant was at about 40 percent of normal, normal sales. Cleveland residents say it's sad to see downtown businesses suffer so much because of the pandemic. It took Cleveland about 10 years to get all these new hotels and to get to what Cleveland's going to become. And to have it be gone in one day, you know, really just that pandemic and everybody closing. It did take some time, but, you know, I don't think it'll get to the same level um, quite any time soon, really, you know. Simon says Lola would have been open 24 years in March. He is also closing his B-Spot Burger restaurants located in Crocker Park and Strongsville. After facing a family tragedy last year and bouncing back to early first team honors, one Ohio football player shows he's able to battle adversity on and off the field. In 2019, St. Francis DeSales senior Quintel Quinn's younger brother, Xavier, was killed due to a gun accident. That same season, Quinn was named first team running back. Flash forward to this year, the senior wasn't sure if he would get to play his last season as a stallion due to COVID-19. But he and the team were able to finish the regular season with an impressive 9-1 record, beating their rival three times. Probably winning the CCL championship after all those years.